Romans 8, 38 and 39 say, For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Romans 8, 26-39, and I encourage you to read that passage. There's a story which brings the above verses to a very clear and poignant example of God's love for us, and it involves murder. There was a family in South Texas that was on the cusp of a change from childhood of the two sons to their adulthood. As a matter of fact, the parents were about to become empty nesters, if you will, because both of their sons were supposed to be graduating from college. One night, after having a family dinner in a restaurant, the family came home, and the mother and one son were murdered, and the father was wounded. In the beginning of the investigation, the police were focusing on how a secured house could be broken into. The gun that was used was in a locked safe that was also broken into. And it looked like it would be kind of an inside job of some kind. The murderers knew where the gun was located and how to break into a house that had been electronically monitored. After 18 months of investigation, it was determined that the youngest son had planned the murder with three of his friends. He had escaped to Mexico, and ultimately, one of the conspirators turned him in for reward money. The news outlets, TV, newspaper, radio, uh, pounced on the situation and was approached the father, who had survived, about how he felt about his youngest son performing such a violent and hateful crime. The father stated that he forgave his son, and that even during the trial, he begged the jury not to convict him in such a way that the son would have received the death penalty. However, the jury came back with just that verdict. But the story doesn't end there. Over the next two decades, the father fought for the son's sentence to become commutated to a life sentence without parole. He kept on telling everyone that he forgave his son. As a matter of fact, he continued to visit him in prison. The story ends with the governor commuting the son's sentence just prior to the death penalty being carried out. That's how much God the Father loves us. Our sentence of death was removed because of the grace and mercy of God. What will your response to that be?